Workflow Apps gives you the ability to build custom UI, business logic, and data stores to manage business workflows. So let's take a look to see how it works. Let's dive into a customer onboarding workflow. In this customer onboarding workflow, there are multiple teams, sales, customer success, and post-sales, that are all involved in onboarding a new customer as they move from one stage to the next along their journey. For example, from onboarding kickoff, to account setup, to launch and go live. Each team works with a different set of applications for the onboarding process, and data is stored and accessed from different applications like Salesforce, Jira, email, and Slack. But there's no tool that can be used to manage the end-to-end -end customer onboarding workflow or provide an up-to-date view on the progress or status of each customer. Let's look at how a workflow app gives a full end-to-end -end view of the onboarding process and makes it easy for each team member to manage their tasks. We will start with the sales team closing a deal in Salesforce to start the onboarding process. Here, I'm logged into Salesforce as Rishi, an account executive of a SaaS product, Data Logs, and I just signed a new customer, Express Logistics. In the Salesforce details, we can see the customer has purchased the Data Logs platform and also bought the Platinum onboarding package. And here I'll mark the opportunity as closed one to indicate that we now have a new customer. This will automatically kick off the customer onboarding workflow. And as a customer success manager, I'll be notified that a task is pending. So now I'll switch over to a customer success manager as Devin Ackland. And as part of my daily routine, I check to see if there are any new pending tasks. Signing into workflow apps is easy since workflow apps are integrated with our identity provider, which is Okta, I can authenticate and log in to the customer onboarding app as I would any other application. As the customer success manager, I can see there are other workflow apps for renewal planning, training requests, and hiring approvals. And I can see my inbox where I can view all the tasks that need my attention. I can see that there are several tasks that need action. All these apps and tasks are fully governed by role-based access controls that give me only the permissions a CS manager needs and nothing more. So from the task queue, let me work on the onboarding work for Express Logistics, which I can do by clicking into the top task in my queue. That takes me to fill out the details of the task. On the top, I can see the stage of the process, which is the onboarding kickoff stage, and I can see the name of the customer size of the deal, what plan they have purchased, the onboarding package included, and all of this information is automatically published from Salesforce. Now I will set the priority for the customer onboarding as well as the dates for the start and end of the onboarding process so that the accounts and post sales team can effectively prioritize their backlog. I'll also add a comment, customer can begin onboarding immediately so the post sales team knows they should jump on this customer as soon as possible. Once I've completed that task, we see that the onboarding tasks for Express Logistics is no longer in my inbox, and I have only four tasks instead of five to complete. When I click on the customer onboarding app, it shows the history of all tasks, both those in progress and completed. And I can see the next stage for Express Logistics is launch and go live. Now let's jump into the activities for launch and go live, which is managed by the post sales team. So I'll switch over to a member of the post sales team as Ryan David and move over to Jira. As we in the post sales team complete various activities in the launch and go live process, we will update the status of these tasks in Jira and mark them as they're completed. When all the tasks for the stage are marked completed in Jira, indicating that the express logistics go live is complete, we can automatically set the stage of onboarding to final review in the workflow app. This will send a new email notification to the customer success manager who can review the status and approve that the onboarding tasks have been completed. Now switching back to the CSM user, Devin Ackland. As a CSM, once I click the task in my email, I will immediately be taken to the task to review customer onboarding and conclude the onboarding process. All the onboarding tasks and status details from Jira are easily accessible in this view. And on the right panel, the customer success manager can see the full audit of the process, as in what stage the process is in, 
who was working on the onboarding process, and how long each stage took to complete. All this is visible in a single view without bouncing from app to app or person to person. At this point, as the customer success manager, I can set the actual complete date as 4-4-2023, approve and mark the onboarding for Express Logistics as completed. Once approved, I can see the task updated as completed and also get a view of all other requests and their various different stages. I get a bird's eye view of the onboarding process without having to access Salesforce or Jira. Now let's switch over to the Workata workspace to look at all the components that we use to build this experience. Here, I'm logged into Workato as part of the CS Ops team. There are three components to create the customer onboarding app. The workflow app pages, the business logic or recipes to manage the flow of information, and the data storage for all the inputs from the application. First, let's take a look at the pages and forms or the UI. In the page designer, you can create great looking pages like this using drag and drop. It has a lot of design elements like buttons, text boxes, drop downs, check boxes, and background that gives you the ability to fully customize and control the experience. I can add additional items into the page, resize them, change their labels, and I can add new columns to record the data for each element. And speaking of data, we are also introducing a completely new persistent storage layer to store the data that will be used by these apps. We call it Workato Table Storage. You can think of it as a powerful spreadsheet that can store millions of rows and any number of columns with different data types. As you can see, it is very easy to add new columns, specify a data type, and continue to expand the tables as the requirements change. It also comes with filters and other analytical tools to slice and dice the data for audit, troubleshooting, or other types of analysis. We have created a connector for this table storage so you can modify, query, and access these tables not only from the interactive UI, but also using recipes. As you can see, the customer Express Logistics was added to this table during this onboarding process we just walked through. Finally, the component that combines the data and the workflow app page with business logic is a Workato recipe. The recipes used for this pattern in workflow apps are the same kinds of recipes you create for other automations. They have a trigger and a series of actions. You'll find workflow app and Workato table storage in the library of apps along with thousands of apps we provide connectivity for. That's a quick introduction into workflow apps. For more information, you can visit our docs at docs.workato.com.